This is the love of heaven no. Hello guys, and this is obviously Sunday, which is my like my PC tutorial videos, and this one will be how I edit my videos. Um, now, oh my god, I hate Camtasia for that. Your mouse flickers when you're recording videos with Camtasia, and it's annoying itself. Now I will. I've just now dropped my Xbox control. This is great. Um, I will leave the description of of the video. Now I'll leave the link to the video in the description of how to get Camtasia for free. Um, full Camtasia because I haven't paid 300 quid or however much Camtasia is for it um, but yeah this is how I edit my videos and this one with the mil will be the military based one um, and now this is how I have my um, video set up so I have my video raw which is literally as soon as it's come out of Elgato or OBS no sorry this is for OBS my streaming content ready for upload is my folder with all my videos that are ready for upload my outro that's just because I haven't I can't remember which one I have to use now I think it might be that one Camtasia Studio, that's just like the codex and things like that for this, and then my art is like my YouTube thumbnails, my Twitch, and things like that. So we're going to Video Raw, and this one's military based survival. Quite often there'll be two or three different parts, but that's literally all you have to do, and then it comes into your clip bin up here. Now it'll take a few seconds, sometimes minutes to load in, um, and then usually what I'll then go and do is I will then go and add in my intro, and then I will add in my outro. Now I'm not sure whether this is my correct outro because I had two different ones. Um, yeah, that's my correct outro. But then what I'll do is, can you see the track one bit down here? Well, of course you can, that's kind of what my mouse is over. I'll then take my intro, dump it in track one there, drag to the start, so you just literally have to hold left click, is it? Yeah, it is left click, and drag it to the very end there. Um, but then if you want a video overlapping it, so say like if I want that audio over that video, which is what I actually did for my outro, you'd then just have to take this video and put it up there and then you can have that audio over that video oh, and then if you want it the other way around you drag it up there and you can have as many tracks as you want to um, but I don't really need that so I'm just going to delete this bit and if you want to know how to trim down a video I suppose that's another thing I could do is you have to highlight the video and you take this bit so say if I want it trim into there and I'd then click this little bit here which is split there's probably an easy way to do it that's just to fully delete it but then this is what I do when I make like my uh, well my raging montages or my recent guys mod video. That's what literally all I did. And then I got into the two bits um, that I don't need anymore. And then I just deleted them. That's that's literally all I had to do. But now I'm just going to delete both of these parts. And if you want to highlight multiple clips, like if you want to move, because when I in that video I always edit first and then add in my intro. So trying to move single clips at a time will be a very long time. Um, so the easiest way you could do that, I suppose, let's just let's just do that. And if I want both of them clips moving back to the front, you just highlight them, grab one of them, and there we are. You've taken it back to the front. But I'm just going to actually delete this just so it doesn't put like a split in between um, the video. Now you just insert my intro, and then there's my intro there plays. Sometimes the view is kind of laggy in the screen, so don't always base it on there. Um, so then I'll insert this video and just insert it a bit after, and then you can drag it. And as soon as that yellow bar appears. Um, it just it shows that the videos are smooth um, smoothly together so this is what it would look like when you watch the video just with no lag um, that screen always shows lag um, I've had it on two different PCs this PC which is my better PC and then my laptop it's always shown lag no matter what PC it's on um, it's just because I actually capture into an HPHD and as you can see up here I do it in 1280 by 720 and um, I definitely suggest you doing this rather than having any of the others as you can see it does say great for YouTube so it would be quite helpful to do it for YouTube but yeah now the videos really start to load in um, and you can see the massive audio spikes in it now that's just because when I render my audio is quieter and um, my webcam microphone is quite sensitive so that's why it picks up so much and then to the end you should see yeah drop down a little bit because I changed down my audio so it wasn't as loud um, but yeah then let's drag it straight to the end if you want to get more view in your little timeline you just have to click this little zoom bar and you can get a better view that's usually what I use for when I'm like making frontage and things like that just because rather than having to drag up and down I can just do that and then for this bit I just drag it straight to the end and then the video cuts it cuts quite abruptly on Camtasia so um, don't always go thinking that like it will just cut smoothly because it does cut quite abrupt so I'd leave a few seconds after once you've said your outro or if you do have an outro or if you just cut your video to the end um, I'd leave a few seconds before it does it because you can see like the audio should you should be able to hear the audio and you'll also be able to hear it from my headphones so that'll be quite a bad repeat so I'm sorry about that but it does make rather an abrupt cut 
straight in with Camtasia and just boom there. So yeah. Um, but then once you've done that, um, all you're left to do is go to produce and share. The audio will render it out absolutely fine. Unless I have to, I might have to go through and change it out. Um, I wouldn't render in 4XP. I always render in 720p. Um, it's just always the one I do. I never do share to YouTube because I usually edit my videos a few days before. Um, I suppose I could actually do a preset for this rather than having to constantly do that. And then you can see it 1280 by 720 there, my editing dimensions that I actually used. And then there's all of this here, I've never actually read all of that, but you know. And then that's where you want it saved to, and I don't want it saved to there. That was just when I was using my outro, I want it saved to, ready for upload. And there we are, once it's saved there. So you, you can actually do it yourself, so then if I wanted to do it in, I don't know. You, that, all you really have to do is dashes and then the name of the folder. Um, organize produce files in subfolders. Yeah, um, I just have that chip um, ticked just to like make it look clean. It show production results and play video after production. That just opens it up in a uh, internet tab so you can actually see what the video looks like after. And you just click finish. Camtasia closes down, so you just get that, so you don't like over your editing. Now you've just got this bit, and this is one thing I really do like. My CPU usage, let's just go to here, and because I've got Elgato running, it'll be using a lot of my CPU usage, so let me close that down. Because um, if you ever try and CPU usage, okay, that looks very high for that, and I don't know why it is. Um, but that's using a hell of a lot of my CPU just for that, that's probably because Elgato was still running according to it. But this actually uses very little CPU usage. When I've had this running at once without anything else, it used like two, two or three percent. So you don't really need much. You can render a video easily while you're like recording and probably playing another video. But there's another tip for you guys: if you have Elgato running and you're wondering why your computer's lagging, because even for me, I've got quite a good processor. Um, like it doesn't look the best only with it being a Pentium. But if you actually look into the specs, it's it's one of the highest. Um, and uh, yeah, 4.7 that's just based on my graphics card, and 6.9 for my processor. So, and it only goes out to 7.9. So, I'm only one below, and that'll probably be like on well, my old processor, a quad core i7, which was like 4.2 gigahertz. So, Elgato uses a lot of processor um, power. So, like, don't have Elgato running when you don't need it because it will lag the hell out of your computer. But, yes, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and there's like a sneak preview for what will be coming on Wednesday you probably know what will be coming on Wednesday and it does render pretty quick and if you associate more uh, RAM to it not RAM processor speed to it I don't I really don't understand why that's so high um, but if I go to that I'm not gonna do it at the moment but then if you go to okay I can't do it on this usually it'll ah yeah we are and then set priority and if you put it to high it'll render a hell of a lot quicker that's what I have to use for when I'm using uh, Vegas because Vegas takes the mic to render. Uh, but I do prefer Camtasia. Camtasia is a nice video editing software, and yeah. And just look at this, guys. This was an absolute god save. I'm just going to say this. Players will no longer be charged insurance costs if their vehicle is destroyed by another player who does not have enough GTA dollars to pay. When I heard that, I was like, thank God. But yes, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later. So, bye.